good morning you guys it's karen and i wanted to come and give you a um, possible solution to conjunctivitis in your dog um, or any kind of eye if stuff's got in their eye if their eyes are a little bit irritated if they suffer from allergies that kind of thing um, the first thing obviously i would say is i'm not a vet and so if you can you should take your dog to the vet with any eye problems at all um, but i understand and have seen from the comments on my videos that not everybody has insurance not everybody can afford to go immediately to the vet or even has the time and so this is something that is inexpensive this is i think it was seven pound 99 that you can at least try um, and there are no you know side effects or anything like that and for us it's worked so watson has had um conjunctivitis a couple of times but very very mild so we can see the signs so what normally happens with Watson is he's only ever had it in one eye you can get conjunctivitis in two eyes but he just gets that horrible yellow gunk in the corner of his eye um you know as opposed to the normal normally they get little crusty bits in the corner of their eyes or gloopy bits but the, when it turns yellow or green that's when it normally means that they've got conjunctivitis like I said, Watson normally only gets it in one eye. I've never seen him with it in both eyes. And he's never had it bad. He's never had it where his eyes are red or, you know, where he's constantly messing with his eyes. It doesn't seem to even bother him that much. Maybe a little bit, but not much. If it was worse than that, then I would say take him to the vet. Um, but every time that it's happened, we've gone to the vet and we've got this tiny little tube called Isothel and we've had to use that for X number of days, probably a week, I think, and that's cleared it up. Um, I did manage to hold it off once by using tea bags. That is something that you hear people recommend. And so I did used to, you know, put hot water onto a tea bag, squeeze it out, let it cool a little bit, and then wipe the area a couple of times a day. What that seemed to do was kind of clear it up for a few days and then it would come back, you know, so I don't know whether that's something that you just would need to do two or three times a day for, for a lot longer, um, or whether that is all it does, it, it cleans it and doesn't stop the infection so I saw this online because he got it again a couple of weeks ago and I was like right okay I don't necessarily think we need to go to the vet this he's not bothering his eyes he's they're not red he's just got this horrible green stuff coming in I don't want it to get any worse so I'm going to try a home remedy before I go to the vet so I got this Renaissance. this is hypochlorous it says on it advanced hypochlorous solution for the disinfection cleansing and flushing of eyes um, antibacterial antifungal and antiviral I love hypochlorous as an ingredient I've actually got a little bottle that's a USB one that you charge that I put water in and you just add a little quarter of a teaspoon of salt and the reaction with the water creates hypochlorous it's it's the easiest way to explain it is it's a type of bleach, but it's not irritating. It's a type of bleach you can use and you can smell it very, very faintly. It's like chlorine, which is, you know, related to bleach. And you can smell the, it's got the same sort of smell, but you could splash it on your skin. You can put it in your eyes and it doesn't sting and it doesn't affect your chest. Um, so it's a lot, lot safer, but actually it's more antibacterial and antiviral, etc., than bleach. So it's a great product and I have this little spray bottle that I kind of got, um, you know, for the whole pandemic thing. It's, it's nice to be able to spray the door handles and phones and things like that. So I got this and used it for one day, one full day. The following morning, he still had the yellow in his eye. So I was like, okay, we'll try it one more day. And if it doesn't go away, then I'll take him to the doctor and we need to get some more of that little isothal treatment. Um, but I used it the next day and the following morning he woke up, he had a tiny, tiny bit. So I used it for a third day and it was completely gone and it hasn't come back since. So that was a week and a half ago. So I'm really chuffed at that. I'm really chuffed to have this in my little first aid box for Watson um, because it is therefore something I can use where I don't think there's any other issue, you know, other than this conjunctivitis. He seems to get it, I don't know whether he picks it up um, because he goes with a lot of dogs obviously on walks and you know, they're sort of rubbing faces and all that kind of thing. So um, yeah, really chuffed. He doesn't seem to mind it in his eyes um, in that he doesn't run away when I get these out or anything, but as soon as it's gone in his eye, he does sort of, you know, go like this as if to say, get it out of my eye kind of thing, um, which he didn't used to do with the isothal drops. The isothal drops are really quite thick and you just put one little drop in. This is just like water. Um, and so I think it's just that there's, you know, water coming from his eye, but he only does that for a second and then he's fine. He carries on as normal. Um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. I will put the link to it below. By the way, you could also use that. It's a big bottle. It is probably 30 mil, I would say. 
60 mil actually 60 mil in this um, and I guess that's because you can use it to flush you know if they've got sand in their eyes or anything you can use it to flush I was actually only putting two or three drops in his eyes I wasn't specifically flushing it um, but you could actually put this on any wound I did used to have a big bottle of this I've talked about it before um, a spray for any kind of wound you can put a few drops of this on it and it's really good for it so that's everything I hope that that was useful um, let me know what your home DIY tips are for little problems like this and I'll speak to you again soon.